Hi, I'm Dr. Tanvir Janjua. I'm a board certified facial plastic surgeon. Today I have Heather with me and I would be demonstrating the technique of injecting Rastelane into the nasolabial grooves and also into the skin or the white part of the upper lip. And it is a quick procedure with instantaneous results and little to no downtime. Great. We are done with the right side. I will hold gentle pressure for a second and then we will take a look to compare the difference between the right side and the left side. Great. As we can see, we have fullness in the groove area and in this part of the lip compared to the depth in the lip on the left side and the groove. We will do the same procedure on the left to match it. As I look at a tangent or at an angle, I can see better the change in the surface volume of the right upper lip compared to the left upper lip. I have finished the injection on the left side as well. I have about 0.1 cc left. So I will use that now in the oral commissure, which is right at the junction of the upper and the lower lip, to take away that little pout going downwards. You can see the difference between the left oral commissure and the right. Although it is subtle, it's enough to take away the little droopy look. And now we are done with the procedure. As you can see, there's a pleasant change in the nasolabial grooves and a very pleasant elevation of the sunken upper lip on both sides. She did it very well without any numbing cream or any anesthesia other than the ingredients within the material itself. You can see the tear troughs are effaced, which means gently filled, so there is no boundary between the lid and the cheek taking away the impression of heavy bags under the eyes. And it did not take long at all. It's a really quick, no downtime procedure using Restylane in those areas. Do you have any questions, Heather? Um, yeah, how, for this, how long does this usually, the Restylane and the lower and upper, what you just did? Sure. The lip moves a lot, uh -huh. so Restylane would likely last for about six months. Mm -hmm. And this area doesn't move much, so it will last about probably eight to nine months. Okay. That's the average. Great, great. Yeah, I really, I like this. It's no numbing and didn't feel any pain. Good. So you ready to go and go do your workout? I already did that. Oh, you morning. did that already? Yes. Okay. <laughs> good, good, that. good, good. Very good. Well, thank you for volunteering. It was a thank pleasure. You. And uh, let me know if in a month, week or two, you notice something unusual or you want to come for something else. I'll be more than happy to see you. Mm -hmm.